Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to now do our final live demo um, of the day here on the live demo stage, and this one's going to be noisy. All right, it's not going to be as noisy as I think. However, it's going to be fun. We have something to look at. It's going to sing. And, uh, that's what we're talking do. power tool. <laughs> See, that's all I need to say. I'm already excited. You don't have to do anything else now. Um, right. Now, we are joined here by Milwaukee. We have Martin, who's, um, who's about to excite me beyond my wildest dreams with a power tool, aren't you? Really? Am I? <laughs> oh, come on, you have to live up to it. <laughs> I can't build you up like that, you let me down. Okay, Martin, what are we looking at here? Because you brought one specific power tool with you, so tell me what this beauty is. So this is Milwaukee's latest offering to the table. It's our deep cut bandsaw. We've uh -huh. done bandsaws for many years, but they've always been at a smaller capacity. Now we've taken our cordless bandsaw from an 84 mil capacity to 125 by 125 mil capacity. Okay. And you can cut all manner of steels with it. It's aluminium, I-beam, angle iron, stainless steel, cold road. Um, it doesn't bother the machine one bit. So what's different about this one then? The larger capacity, we've now taken Milwaukee's um, patented brushless power state motor uh -huh. and put that into the machine, okay. coupled along with Redlink technology, so you get an increased run time. Okay. There's no resistance created to the battery, so the battery doesn't run as hot as it would do on a brushed motor. Okay. And again, you increase the life of your battery, more cuts per charge. And how noisy is this thing? Under load, you're looking at about 79 decibels. Okay, that's not too bad, is it? No. And you've also got a little light on there, haven't you? We have got a little light if you're using it in the dark, yes. <laughs> now, you're going to give us a demo in just a second, but can I ask, if you're kind of going to cut things, do you ever cut things at an angle, and how are you able to do that with, with the mechanism? Um, once you've got a bit of experience with it, you can cut at an angle. You've just got to remember, when you start cutting things at an angle, the actual depth of material gains in size. Okay. So you've just got to manage, remember when you're cutting that angle that you're yeah. going to still have enough capacity to clear what you're cutting. And um, what environment can you use this in? Because you mentioned earlier that is it spark free? There's no sparks generated by this machine because it doesn't reach enough speed and the, the style of blade is a HSS blade. So you're okay to use this indoors in an environment where, where sometimes it... Environments where you would um, necessarily in the past use an angle grinder, that would create a lot of sparks and that. You find a lot of sites now that are completely spark free. They want you to do all the work off site and then bring your job on. Um, okay. Situations where you need to get in somewhere and you need to cut access to something or pipe work and that. If you're going up into roof spaces and that where there's all insulation board and that, you couldn't um, dream of using angle ground on there because you'd, you'd risk the, the uh, causing fire in there. Are they your safety goggles? They are my safety goggles. A little bit goggles. too cool for school. <laughs> have controllable speed with this can't you you've got full variable speed on there from zero to 116 meters a second okay so if you're using uh, thick wall materials something like aluminium that you take your speed right down increase the tpi on your blade as well it allows the blade to clear and reduce <laughs> and with it being up. cordless how long does that battery last i mean how much work can you do with with one charge and how long does it take to recharge on well to recharge time if it was completely flat you'd be looking at just shy of an hour um, cuts per charge in scaffolding tube, you'll be looking at about 40 cuts per charge in scaffolding tube. And does this already fit into, is it the M18 series? That, that goes straight into our M18 range, so any customers that already have our M18 platform, whether it's 2 amp hour, 3 amp hour or 4 amp hour, the saw is available naked and we'll move straight into that system for them. That's pretty impressive and I'm quite impressed with the job that you did there as well. I mean, steady does it, you've got quite a good hand, haven't you? Yeah. Must take a lot of practice. No. <laughs> well, what stand are you on right now while the, while the show is still open? Just for a little bit longer. We're on stand 60. Perfect. Well, if you want to go have a little bit of a closer look at um, the saw that we've just demonstrated there, but also some of the other Milwaukee products you can do on stand 60. Martin, thank you very much. No problem. It's brilliant.